Hello, beautiful souls. My belief is based on in-depth research, my teachings and conversations with our students in Twin Soul School, and of course, my own experience with my twin flame. So the first sign, a twin flame will, almost, never or maybe never insult you or tear you down. This will happen in a toxic relationship. Maybe you experienced it in a twin soul connection. Neither of you will say really mean or demeaning things to each other. And I also healed my past, so I believe in healing, but I don't believe in keep healing all the time. And I don't believe to talk about past lives, all your past lives together with your twin flame. Of course, I have done some past life healings, but now I love to be present in the now with my twin flame and travel around the world, playing golf together, having dinner together, sharing our lives together, raising our children together. We are the purest, best, and unconditional love versions of ourselves. We are getting closer together every day. So instead of repeating all the stories of being blocked or ignored, start using affirmations. And that was exactly the reason why my twin flame didn't choose me, because this sentence was repeating in my head all the time. And sentences are affirmations, and repeating affirmations, that's manifesting. So manifesting is thinking, and we are always thinking. So we're always manifesting. But most of the time, we manifest subconsciously, and I want to inspire you to become a conscious creator, because I think it's one of the lessons of the twin soul journey, to become a conscious creator, so we can change the world together. We can make the world a better place together with all the twin flames who are conscious creators. Imagine if we can do a meditation with 200,000 twin souls, and we set our intention on something, and um, yeah, that's one of my dreams, to do this. Maybe one day we are not yet there, um, but sentences in your head are affirmations, and my sentence was, why didn't my twin flame choose me yet? Because I knew he loved me. I could see it in the way he looked at me, so I knew he loved me, and he also expressed his feelings to me. So I didn't understand, what's the problem? Because he admitted that he loved me, and he found myriad excuses not to commit to me at that time. Divine masculines of my students also give them reasons, such as, 1. I am already in a relationship. 2. I want to be loyal to that. 3. I want to focus on my work, on my sports, on my children. Or, uh, the fourth reason, I want to keep my freedom. 5. I think you deserve someone better than me. 6. I think we are too different and there can be many more excuses your twin flame can use. But whatever your twin flame is telling you it's not a real reason. On a spiritual level it can be the reason. In 3D it can be the reason in your current reality. But on a spiritual level, it's just an excuse. It's not the truth. The real reason is that if your twin flame isn't ready yet, don't blame your twin flame. From Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe.